So last but not least, before we have a break with um, chanting from some of the group, I am very happy to invite Mr. Art Verbu from Dhamma Deepa Meditation Center because we are waiting for one speaker. So now may I call upon Mr. Art Verbu from Dhamma Deepa Meditation Center. and spiritual leaders and normal people like me. <laughs> nice to meet all of you. Uh, my name is Aad Verboom, which cannot be pronounced in English, so Verboom is also good. Dhammadipa is easier. Let me tell you a few words about the Dhammadipa Meditation Center. Um, on the video you saw that from Prinsengracht, um, the Venerable Prague crew Kreis on Vilaas uh, moved from Prinsengracht to Pietersport State. And this is now the um, still the same location where Damadipa is uh, housed. This was in 1986. I was there with uh, other friends and co Buddhists and co meditators. Um, after a few years, Park to Kreis on Vilaas went to. Um, where he went Amsterdam North or Den Ilk, I think, Den Ilk. Eh? Um, and um, Buddha Vihara Amsterdam remained for some time in Pietersport State, but then it became Stichting Sangametta. And um, my friend Henk van Voorst will tell you something about Sangametta later. In um, 2010, Jyotika Hermsen, who managed the center, uh, said, I'm getting a little bit older now, I want to hand it over. And she was 78 by then. So uh, Dhammadipa was founded as a foundation in order to manage the meditation center. And it's still uh, going well now. What are we doing in Dhammadipa? We practice Vipassana meditation and we teach Abhidhamma for Buddhist psychology and we have several open activities which are not directly related to Vipassana. We do meta meditations, inside dialogue, etc. etc. Well, um, thank you for having me today at this meeting. Um, at 22 I was looking for insight and knowledge and trying to understand how the world works. And I thought peace was boring. <laughs> Completely not interesting to be peaceful. I wanted action and I wanted to know how the world worked. So this has been for me for a long time that peace is boring. Um, so I started doing Vipassana and then I learned that if you see the world as it is and if your mindfulness becomes sharper and sharper, you see the arising of anger or discontent or hatred or... And when you see it and you look a little bit better, you also see the ending of the anger and the discontent. And then if you practice a little bit more, you become so mindful that the anger doesn't arise anymore, and then peace comes. So I was tricked into becoming peaceful, in a way, by practicing how the world works, um, you can discover what peace is really about. This was around 30, so I thought, well, um, I know how the world works, I'm a little bit peaceful now, what to do? <laughs> Am I, is it finished? Is this all there is? No. Um, peace is something you have to not manage. You cannot manage peace, but you have to cherish. You have to work for it. You have to do it. Um, and this can be in a million ways. And, uh, in discovering the many ways in which you can work for peace and for understanding and harmony. I had a lot of... Um, good influences from people from other religions and beliefs and faiths. So for me, 
working for peace and being mindful in peace is about meeting people, working together with people. Uh, regardless of whether they are Hindu or Muslim or whatever, uh, or non-religious, non um, they're the worst. <laughs> they're really they're very nice to work with, it's very hard to discuss with because they have a lot of thoughts about how the world should be. Anyway, um, I'm a family man, I have two children, so I know how um, this desire for action and for um, discovering the world is working. Um, what can we do as Buddhists and as Muslims and Hindu and um, adherents of other religions in order to promote peace? Educate the young, give them something to do, something useful, which will help them to discover their own peace of mind. Because we're all adults, we know how to find each other and um, we know how to create peace. But for the young it's very important to find their own path. And this is what we do in, in Dhammadipa. Um, we teach also younger people who want to know how can I live peacefully, how can I discover what is the difference between peaceful and not peaceful. Right, my kids are grown up now, 21, 25, so uh, I'm free again, as they say. <laughs> um, I have a lot of spare time, so I intend to teach a little bit more in Dhammadipa and other places. Um, but what is my motivation? I, I heard it being mentioned. Um, Sukita and Sukhaya Sabahi, Sukita Hitaya Sabasitanam. Um, I was taught by my Buddhist master, if you want to do good things, do not do it for Buddhism, do it for the good and the welfare of all living beings. So this is what my motivation is. And I'd like to share it with you today. So let's work for peace, not boring, active. <laughs> And uh, for the good and welfare of all living beings. Thank you. So thank you very much. Um, Mr. R uh, is uh, an active person. And I spent his motivation to work for peace is to begin with the young people. And if you can...